Uh, hey, it's Reese from Tunezilla. I'm just gonna run through uh, the process of how I log because we've seen in some tickets uh, people not providing logs that are very useful. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna run through the process of what we wanna see. If you're asking for a tune revision or you're just wanting to confirm that your tune is good and everything's running okay, uh, we're gonna do that today by firing up VCDS. Uh, if you have OBD11, um, some of this will apply, but not everything is applicable, um, but the process is somewhat similar. So fire up VCDS, we got the ignition on. And then we're going to select module, engine, advanced measuring box. Okay, so you'll get to this screen and you're like, okay, I have all of these parameters on the right hand side box. Um, I don't know which ones, is, what, which ones to select. So we have made this simple. If you go to our website and we'll put a link in the video, we have a Google Drive of all the PIDs and you can download these. So you go to tunezilla.com and then go to logging and then click guides and then you'll see download VCDS PIDs. This will take you to a Google Drive and then Audi VW select whichever is applicable and then we're in a mark seven and a half golf r today and you'll you'll see some some files here these have different variations of parameters like saved as a pid set um so depending on what the calibrators ask for or typically you're just checking to make sure the tune is working for the fuel that you have in your area you may want to just save these and just go through them and just double check each parameter. Once you've downloaded the PIDs from the website, you're going to put them into a folder of your choosing. And then when you fire up VCDS, you will go search for them in that folder. So we'll do that again. So we fire this up. So you at the top of the box, you want to right click load selection from file. So this is now taking me to the download the, the folder that the download is in. So today we're gonna log, we're gonna select this one. Okay, so you'll see that these have now loaded up. Now, the most important part of this to get good resolution of the logs is you click turbo, group, UDS request, and then split. Now either choose seven or eight, uh, if you look at the top on the left, there's a sample rate. That's your, the, basically the resolution. So I've clicked seven and that's hovering around 9.2, 9.4 frames per second. We try eight. It's a little better around about like 9.4 or 9.5. So we're gonna stick with that. We're pretty much ready. So we've got all of our blocks that we want. You're gonna click log. Now, a big mistake I often see is people will erase the first part of the file name. This will screw up your VCS like folder of the logs. I see that a lot. So what you want to do is just add on to the file name that's already there. Uh, so we're just going to put here Patrick Golf R log one because I know what that is. You can label yours as however you see fit, whatever works for you in that scenario. And now we're basically at the point of where we can actually start logging. Now, obviously you're going to want to do this in a safe environment. That's your discretion. The main thing that we want to see in a log is typically like one gear pull. So say uh, you're on a stretch of road, be in third gear. If you're in a DSG car, put it in manual mode. So you want to start around 1800 RPM and then go full throttle all the way to red line don't want to see any part throttle crews. That's not very useful to us. So we want to see that, that full sweep of the, uh, that gear and that RPM range. And then typically what we want to see is a one, two, three, and sometimes fourth gear.
pull as well. So I'm going to hand this off and then we're going to go capture our logs. Okay, so I'm in third gear, just slowing down to about 1800. Uh, J-Man, if you click start for me. Click down, I can leave VCDS running. Okay, so let's go to tunezilla.com and go to login, click upload, and then click upload again. So Patrick Golfar log one, I click that, upload it to the website, and now it has spit out a nice graph instead of like just looking at an Excel spreadsheet of a CSV file. So we can see 2400 start line in the power. Looking at the log, everything looking very nice. Okay, so now we've verified that that one pull and one gear is good. We're gonna go do a one, two, three, four pull. Go for log two. So now we're just going to name it log two. Same parameters. Um, we're just going to go do a one, two, three, and maybe four gear pull if we can find somewhere suitable. You're just going to want to do a little bit of normal driving just to get some air through the engine bay, some well, cooler air anyway. Um, so you're just giving the car the best chance to perform at its optimum basically if everything's super heat soaked and there's like hot stale air in the engine bay you're probably going to run into some knock all right ready go Done. Just like that. That's basically how I log when I'm doing, you know, development work and I take the cars out after doing all the dyno portion of the tuning. We go test them in real world environments. Hopefully this is helpful for people that are kind of new to logging or learning a little bit more on how to log these cars um, and what we want to see so we can understand what the logs mean. Because we're not, we're not visibly there and know, you know when you start the log and when you finished, we can kind of like read the map as if we were, sorry, read the log as if we were there. 